InDesign CC users can now create, manage, and edit hyperlinks more easily and faster than ever. Hyperlinks are very important for designers who create documents for DPS or EPUBs or even interactive PDFs. So let's see what changed in this version of uh, InDesign CC to make your life easier when working with hyperlinks. Let's zoom into this piece of text down here. And we see that we already have a couple of hyperlinks here. And if I select a piece of text now, and I do Control click on that text or right click with the mouse, I can go in the menu and create a new hyperlink right from here. Or I can create a new hyperlink from a URL. But let's create a new hyperlink from here. And you will see that uh, this panel also has changed to make it easier for you to actually create the hyperlinks. Now I can decide whether to link to a URL, a file, an email, a page, a text anchor, or a shared destination. But let's say that we want to create a link for creative.adobe.com. Okay? And as we can see here, I can apply a character style automatically. As a matter of fact, the first hyperlink I create in a document automatically creates a character style called hyperlinks, which makes it then very easy for me to go into my characters panel and actually change the style to the exact style that I want in my design. So let's say OK to this, and this has now become a hyperlink. But what is really cool is if we go over here into the hyperlinks panel, we have a few new things here. We see that uh, if I link to an email address, for example, I get a little envelope icon. Or if I link to uh, several adobe.com URLs, these are now grouped automatically. And here is my last URL, the URL that I've just created here on this text here. And you will also notice that there are little green lights here. And these green lights are to indicate that the URL has been actually checked by, uh, by InDesign. So we're all good to go. And if I click on the link here, I can actually check that the email application will open and uh, that I can send an email through there. Or if I go here to http.adobe.com, I can click on the little green light to actually go to the URL in my browser to, to check that the URL is, in fact, valid. So when a URL is shared by several words in my document, this is now grouped here. Very, very useful. But I can also do other things, such, such as, for example, taking several of these addresses, and by double-clicking on it, I can now change the URL for several links that I have selected. Also very useful is the fact that, very much like the links panel in, in, in InDesign, I have a little link to the page where these URLs are actually used or where that email address is being used. So very quickly, I can go check out where I have actually applied this URL, and it actually selects it in my text. These new hyperlinking features make it easier to create, manage, and edit hyperlinks in InDesign CC.